I'm going to show you how you can change the Windows Event Viewer log size, enabling you to keep logs for longer. I'm doing this on Windows Server, however this will work exactly the same on Windows workstations. So to start, if you press the Start menu, and search for Event Viewer, and then run that, this will take you to the Event Viewer Management Console. On the left hand side we can expand Windows Logs, as well as Applications and Services Logs, to see all of our Windows Event Logs. To modify a size of any of these event logs, we can right click one of them, and then go to Properties, and under Maximum Log Size, we can see the maximum size that this event log is allowed to grow to. This value is in kilobytes, so this current value of 20480 is around 20 megabytes. So if we wanted to increase it in size, we can just press the up arrow, or we can just type a new value in. So if I want to increase it from 20 megabytes to 40 megabytes, I can do 40960, and then press apply. And now the system log is able to grow to a size of around 40 megabytes. Now in theory, the maximum value this can be is four gigabytes. However, Microsoft don't recommend you set this any higher than 300 megabytes. As at 300 megabytes, that's when you start to have really slow loading times. Another option you can change is what happens when the maximum event log size is reached. So by default, it's set to overwrite events as needed. So what this will do is, once the event log is full, it will just keep deleting the oldest events so that you can put the newest events in there. You could change this to archive the log file when full. So when it does hit its limit, you can see the log path here, and it will just append the date stamp at the end and store the archive log in the same location. Or you could use do not overwrite events, clear logs manually. However, I wouldn't recommend using this option. I would recommend either archiving the log file when full or overwriting the oldest events when needed. Each one of these log files has its own value for the maximum log size, and they're all different. So when you change one, it only impacts that log and not any of the others. Now we could also use PowerShell to do this. However, I wouldn't really recommend this. So if we run PowerShell, what we can run is we can run get dash event log and then dash list. And this will return a list of some of the event logs with their maximum size in kilobytes, as well as the action they'll take when the log file is full. Or we could also use the get dash win event dash list log and then star and this will return a list of all of the log files their size in bytes as well as their logging mode so either circular logging or archived i wouldn't really recommend trying to change the value through powershell as at best it is temperamental and at worst it just doesn't work so if you do want to actually modify the values i would recommend always using it through the event logger management console and not through PowerShell, as I can never really seem to get it to work consistently. So that's how you can modify the event log size, enabling you to keep your event logs for longer.